What is going on, Crypto Fiends? Thank you, as always, for tuning into the channel. I'm Ryan Rotolo, and today I am sitting with Force over at the Hashoshi YouTube channel. How are you doing today, Force? Doing well, doing well, having a good time. Wonderful. Well, today, uh, me and Forrest are going to be sitting down and talking about Unibright, a project that is really taking the space over by storm. So we're going to be doing a two uh, part series where Forrest is going to be posting uh, all of the technicals about Unibright, whether that's the token utilization, how Unibright functions, their platform features, all that sort of stuff. And on my channel, we're going to be talking about all of the juicy partnerships, why Unibright really stands out from the crowd and why you should maybe consider looking into it after the video. So I want to start the video off by saying, what is Unibright for those that are not familiar? Unibright offers a unified framework, bringing blockchain technology and smart contracts to mainstream usage. With its no coding needed approach, smart contracts get generated, deployed, and updated automatically into different blocks. Unibright works with visual use case related templates and also automatically integrates existing IT systems into the blockchain. The smart contract coding hackathon with Microsoft was in Germany in 2018. Uh, this was to showcase their coding strategy and attract new potential developers. This partnership does go a lot deeper, which I will be explaining a little bit later on. Unibright met up with SAP in late 2018 and showed examples to set up an approval process in the blockchain, which is started by a purchase order in SAP and results in a release of this order. So what's the benefit for SAP? Well, with the help of Unibright's framework tools, not a single line of code is needed. All blockchain objects are automatically generated and it automatically connects to the off-chain world. SAP stands for Systems, Applications, and Products in Data Processing. SAP, by definition, is also the name of the Enterprise Resource Planning Software. SAP software was founded in 1972. They develop software solutions for managing business operations and customer relationships. Their system consists of a number of fully integrated models, uh, which covers virtually every aspect of business management. They are currently number one in the ERP market. They have over 140,000 installations worldwide and more than 75,000 customers in 120 countries. How awesome is that? It's killer. I mean, to, to be honest with you too, you know, on the SAP side, you have an ERP software that enterprises around the world use en masse that are all looking for opportunities and ways to improve business operations. And I can tell you personally, you know, from experience with enterprise work in this space, businesses want to do this, but they just don't know how to start. So Unibright is a great opportunity for them to integrate in what, what they already have. For sure. And uh, like you just said, Unibright can kind of be like the Trojan horse of integrating blockchain yeah. through SAP. Zolk Engineering helps companies successfully deliver innovative and complex digital software and hardware solutions at scale. Uh, Unibright did a customer event together with Zolk at their headquarters, uh, where they invited handpicked decision makers and CTOs of mid-sized and large companies, mainly German ones, acting worldwide. During this event, the audience got an introduction into blockchain technology, cryptocurrencies, and smart contracts. Lufthansa AG is the largest German airline and when combined with its subsidiaries, also the largest airline in Europe, both in terms of fleet size and passengers carried during 2017. Lufthansa actively thinks and drives blockchain-based use cases within the corporation and was introduced to Unibright by their partner, Zolk. This partnership will allow Lufthansa to solve many problems that will face without the, uh, the use of Unibright, including asset lifecycle of planes and equipment on the blockchain, partner loyalty programs in blockchain, voucher management for Lufthansa's partners in blockchain, and also personal seat and flight booking management for professionals and resellers. I, I, I don't understand how people aren't really talking about this stuff. This is massive. Yeah, I mean, I think it goes back to the fact that in reality, 
I think a lot of people just don't have much transparency into how technology within enterprise is applied and, and all that stuff that works. I mean, on average, I don't think people have much insight into, you know, ERP tools like you talked about with SAP or some of these, uh, you know, asset lifecycle customer relationship management tools that big businesses need to operate. Mm -hmm. And so Unibright's taking this sort of dark horse approach where they're coming into a it's not a very sexy place to play. You know, it's not a very, um, you know, high value marketable approach, but it's really high impact. And, and that's why it's been a hidden gem for so long because what they're doing is so behind the scenes. Deutsche Bahn AG is a German railway company and is the largest railway operator and infrastructure owner in Europe. Deutsche Bahn was the largest railway company in the world by revenue in 2015, and it carries about 2 billion passengers each year. Now, customers of DB can already use different channels to get a specific ticket for a specific train. A customer can get a ticket online, at a desk, at a ticket machine, or even by using their app on a smartphone. Now, together with Unibright and DB, a developed blockchain-based solution is coming into fruition to bring together all connected services around travel, whether that's tickets, vouchers, local transport, accommodations, or local train networks. Fun fact, Deutsche Bahn AG has a branch company named DB Schenker, uh, which is a division of the German rail operator, operator that focuses on logistics. Uh, they currently employ 95,000 people and generated a revenue of 22.8 billion in 2018. Uh, why am I bringing this up? Well, if you are familiar with a company by the name of VeChain, they are directly partnered with this division to build a supplier evaluation system. Who knows, maybe VeChain and Unibright can be partnering up in the future what do you think i think it's very possible especially because v chain's main target is to get into big enterprise businesses and to start to to play inside those um, sort of erp use cases and and asset tracking use cases it would make perfect sense to do it a joint presentation took place in Europe on the 18th of June called Synchronize 2019. The presentation showcased what the Unibright framework is capable of to hundreds of top finance executives and market leaders in DLT and blockchain for enterprise. Some attendees, and I'm not joking, include the Bank of England, London Stock Exchange, Barclays, HSBC, and more. Digital asset helps companies design, create, and run the next generation of business applications. They combine deep industry expertise with software development tools and ecosystem technology partners to help our clients solve complex challenges. Some of their investors include Citigroup, IBM, PNC Bank, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan and Chase, CME Group, and if you guys aren't familiar with who that is, they are the current owners of the New York Stock Exchange. How crazy is that? Yeah, my only only a minor partnership, you know. Only I know, minor, right? <laughs> so, I mean, like you said before, I think a lot of investors in the in the space may not uh, fully understand the the true potential of these partnerships because they don't dive as deep into them you know they see unibright partners with digital asset holdings yeah. okay that sounds great but who the hell are they uh you know i feel like also a lot at least for me my audience is based in the united states and we want to hear names that you know we're familiar with so when you take the time to really look into these companies you can understand that you know there's a lot of more there's a lot more conglomerates than just jp morgan facebook etc over here in the united states yeah. And the interesting thing about being in the enterprise space like they are, you know, especially in the, on the European side, is that because of the structure of the EU, all these big businesses and conglomerates, they work together, they talk to each other and they share. And so as Unibright makes a splash and, and has success with one business like Lufthansa, who's to say that a bunch of other big airlines in Europe and in the EU are not going to jump on the same bandwagon. I think oh, it's very possible. Yeah, exactly. hundred percent. Once you have one big corporation by your side, there's absolutely no reason all the other ones aren't going to be going to what's actually working and uh, risk it with another company that's just starting. That just doesn't happen. That's why, you know, every company is working side by side with Chainlink uh, and other projects like VeChain, et cetera. 
AnyBlock Analytics is a German blockchain solution provider that offers methods, tools, and data to integrate business processes with blockchain more efficiently and with greatly reduced risk. Their AnyBlock index enables users to search, process, and analyze real-time blockchain data from different networks. They work together with team members of ETH.Events and Unibright's blockchain project Carbonara and are now bringing together their tech stack with Unibright's Explorer. Now, this part is when things get really exciting. These four <laughs> consortiums that Unibright is working with right now really make this project stand out amongst the rest and really shows its true potential. In NATBA, it was formed on April 3rd of 2019, and this is an association that includes shared principles and interoperability standards to develop guidelines for blockchain technology. It includes members uh, of Fortune 500 companies, startups, governments, and educational institutions. Unibright is a founding member amongst other companies like IBM, SAPT, IOTA, and of course, the German Stock Exchange, because why wouldn't they be a part of this, right? <laughs> this German blockchain community represents the interest of all companies trying uh, out and advancing new business models and social development based on blockchain technology in Germany. They are touching all sectors, including identity, privacy, finance, energy, education, real estate, and more. Uh, this is a member-driven standards organization whose character is to develop open blockchain specifications that drive harmonization and interoperability for businesses and consumers worldwide. Some members include Hyperledger, AnyBlock, Cambridge, Chainlink, Citigroup, Consensus, of course, Ethereum Foundation, FedEx, Intel, JP Morgan, Microsoft, and you guessed it, Unibright. More importantly, taking a lead in the newest sector of the EEA, the Ethereum mainnet integration for enterprises was formed, also known as Imminent Task Force. Together with Chainlink as a leading or Oracle provider and AnyBlock Analytics as a provider for blockchain data analytics, Unibright adds its top-notch expertise on blockchain integration into this group. The EEA aims to make Ethereum the first choice for enterprises. It is all about the three Ps, private transactions, permissioning, and performance. Announced on March 4th, 2020, we have the baseline protocol. This is an approach to using the public mainnet as a common frame for reference between systems, including traditional corporate systems of records, any kind of data or state machine, and even different blockchains. It is particularly promising as a way to reduce capital expense and other overhead uh, ideals, uh, increasing operational integrity when automating business processes across multiple companies. Some of the founding members include AMV, Web3 Labs, Chainlink, MakerDAO, Duke University, Microsoft Consensus, and of course, you guessed it, Unibright. This, this, in my opinion, is a niche that a niche that's not too touched in cryptocurrencies and blockchain right now. Uh, and all, although, when time goes on, of course, you know more companies are going to come into the space. Uh, but as you can see, the majority of conglomerates that we know are side by side, and they have their faith in Unibright. So personally, for me, I have no doubt in my mind that Unibright will be at the top when it comes to this new sector. And of course, the UBT token will uh, be at the top beside Link, Maker, ETH, and Kyber, and many more that are focused on bridging the gap of traditional enterprise finance and data uh, with the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry. Yeah, no, I think it's killer. And I think the reality is, is that these initial partnerships and what, what's been announced so far is just the beginning of a long-term strategy to start bringing as we move to Ethereum 2.0 and it becomes more prevalent and more possible from a scalability perspective to get businesses running on the public mainnet, moving people in that direction without having to spend a ton of money. Because a lot of businesses have already spent capital on exploring blockchain and probably building you know, proof of concepts, et cetera. Mm -hmm. They're now ready to see how can we bring this to the next level. And I think Unibright has a huge part to play in that. Yeah, for sure. And it is pretty fascinating. If you really, I, I know there's a lot of fancy terms all over the place yeah. on all these partnerships, but if you really break it down, there are all these 
partnerships are pretty much doing the same thing. Yeah. They're making it easy and seamless for companies to integrate blockchain technology and utilize this new face, uh, this uh, new uh, space and infrastructure in a seamless way. They want to uh, allow companies to have no coding needed. Uh, and of course, that greatly reduces costs. You don't have to uh, um, hire employees. You don't have to set up databases or anything like that. You can integrate all of your current data onto the blockchain and get all the benefits uh, like privacy, traceability, uh, trustworthiness, all with blockchain. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll get into this more in the tech section, which will be on, on my channel. But what Unibright is doing is similar to the, the like revolution of technology that happened when the internet started to take hold with an enterprise. And that was products like Oracle, SAP, and um, a bunch of other ones like that, they started to build these tools that made it easier for businesses to build a modular setup using these internet tools without a bunch of extra cost and extra technical overhead. Uh, so that's, I think, where Unibright's playing, and it's so smart to do that for the blockchain space. Of course. Now, like I said in the beginning, guys, if you want to learn more about the technicals uh, and you want to learn about the utility of the UBT cryptocurrency and how all of this comes into play and why uh, maybe you should consider looking into that cryptocurrency, not financial advice, go over to Hashoshi on YouTube and check out that video. It will be linked down below. Thanks very much for having me, Ryan. And laying down the law on the partnerships for Unibright, that was awesome. I, I learned a lot about these partnerships. Yeah, no problem. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next.